Hi Gemini, this is Shah speaking from Char uh, Charlie's Angels Tarot and welcome back. This is your reading for the 25th of May till the 31st of May 2020 and welcome if you are uh, uh, new to the channel please subscribe and hit that bell on all and then you'll be notified when uh, new videos are loaded up or when I go live. Now there's also some good news. There will be a competition shortly, uh, in about a week or two, um, because um, I've got some news. I'm allowed to give away a brand new deck uh, of the Shadowland Tarot by Monica Bodursky from Shiva Publishers. I'm waiting on the new deck to arrive and so we'll have a competition and if you would like the Shadowlands Tarot deck brand new then join in the competition but you must be a member of the channel and I'll be setting up the competition and next week and there will be a video on my website with regarding to uh, what the questions will be or what the spe specifications are uh, to join the competition now, I've also got this deck, so if you haven't got the vice versa deck, this is a used deck that I have had, and I'm getting so f uh, loaded down with decks, but you can see the box is whole, and all the cards are there, and the beautiful book. So if you haven't got the vice versa, um, I don't know whether I'm going to do this for the second place, uh, perhaps I'm going to give the, um, I'll do a second place and a first place, it all depends on the competition. Um, perhaps I might do two competitions, um, or that you have, the, the, fir the winner has the choice of this deck or a brand new deck. <coughs> I'm, not, I'm not quite sure, um, I might even do a video on it, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, ask what I might do a poll, so keep uh, taps on the, uh, the website and keep taps on uh, or check out the community button on YouTube. But the video on how to join and what to do um, will be placed on the website. Okay, okay Gemini, so here we are um, and thank you very much if you're a uh, um, one of the cyber angels for popping back and your loyalty and your sharing and liking with family and friends. The last couple of weeks have been tremendous in the uh, live sessions in the tea room so if you are not a member yet then please make sure that you are a member it is greatly appreciated. Now this these are the um, Shadowland t uh, Tarot and then I've also got the House of Shadow, the Lenamon deck, the Oracle, based on the Lenamon by the same author. Then I've got the uh, Mirror Truth Lenamon, and they are beautiful. I've also got a review out there on them. Then I've got the Crystal or Spirit Oracle deck by Colette Baron Reed, also a review on there on YouTube, and it will I will be updating my website this week and the white witches um, tarot deck and that's the big arcana and then postcard from spirit so let's get started with the reading my darlings I hope you're well and I hope you will enjoy this um, reading or this video first of all we are opening up Monday the 25th with the Ten of Cups and it's Ten Paint Pots so your day might be colourful happy families happy emotional time so Monday should be a lucky and happy day for you perhaps reunion with family and friends perhaps you might be celebrating something Ooh, and I don't know but I see a crab with a paintbrush it could be a cancer, I don't know. Perhaps cancer might be uh, prominent on the 25th 
of May. There's an ending and there are new beginnings. Yes, you can see a lot of color. So I think it will be a colorful day. Okay, from the House of Shadows, we have the bear. And this bear is asleep. And I love the way Monica Wodurski has depicted this. Be careful don't let people walk all over you or do something uh, over your back in other words we have a saying in Holland and when somebody does uh, over your back they go in, they're not going directly to you and tell you what the issue or the question is no they go higher up okay so somebody might be jealous of you and might be using you okay might be talking behind your back be aware because somebody is jealous. Jealousy is not very nice. It's a bad habit. It's an addiction. And I don't like it. Okay, but luck is on your side and you can stand your ground because you're big, you're strong, you're difficult to move. Okay, you can't move a bear because he'll attack you. So wake up. It might be a wake up call. And you've got 15. So my birthday is on the 15th of June. And we are in Gemini today. Yesterday we went into Gemini. The sun, sh sun house of Gemini. So it's going to be a positive month. It's going to be a warm month for us. Okay. Sorry. And it's the 6th. So you'll be in balance on Monday. Woohoo! nice one on Wednesday you have the hermit perhaps something might have happened on Monday you got to hear news or you woke up to the wake-up call and you have realized that somebody is doing something behind your back and you're taking time out to meditate contemplate and evaluate the situation the hermit has a, a life journey he's always on a journey and that's life so he gathers knowledge and wisdom life experience and he passes it on to the third party and this is number nine okay the hermit also represents Virgo so it could be a Virgo that's done something behind your back okay or you might seek advice from a Virgo Okay, that it could be a man, as we have the man. Uh, li sorry, uh, the lily here, and it is a man. And the lily, the basic meaning means, go and seek advice from a professional. Could be a bookkeeper, could be a lawyer, and you usually think of them as a man. But yes, the cards uh, aren't sexist, but in the lily it means good luck at work good luck in business but because you've got the bear here be careful your partner might be a Virgo or it might be a man he might be doing something behind your back okay business wise it could it, you know because the ten of cups is here it could also be that somebody's doing something behind your back but in a positive sense like we've got the shadow side and we've got the positive side you can't do without one or the other okay like in during the day the breaking of a new dawn and laying the day to rest and then it becomes dark but coming back the, uh, that's why I like the, sh uh, the shadow cards because we can't do without our shadow and we shouldn't be scared of our shadow so don't be scared ask for advice luck is at hand and you can be creative because you've got 30 which becomes a 3 which is creative and Gemini is also the third house so the third uh, house being quite important to us okay so you might seek uh, advice from a father figure or a professional it could be from a teacher or a spiritual person because the um, hermit is a spiritual card, okay? Because of the um, um, 
related meaning meditation. On Friday you have the Eight of Pentacles. Your hard work is being recognized. Do you want to leave a legacy behind? Do you want to leave something behind for a specific person? Well, you've got recognition. So there could be a promotion. There could be some good news coming your way. The Eight of Pentacles also means for some of us that we might start a new study. Because you've got a re uh, you've got recogni uh, recognition, you might get promoted, or you might get a new study, so that you can advance in knowledge like the hermit, to carry on in your journey. There might be some things that you don't know about, so you might do some more research. As you've got the moon, and the moon could be also is uh, represents. Uh, is represented by Pisces so there could be a Pisces around you okay that um, that you might be meeting up or the moon is also a spotlight and illumination so you're in the spotlight so there might be a Pisces that um, has an eye on you but there could be also somebody um, that is lying to you that is lying to you. Somebody could be wearing a mask and the mask means that you can hide something, exp not the eyes, but the eyes aren't there, but you, um, yeah, how am I saying it? You can see the big nose here and somebody's dangling on it. So they're walking on eggshells perhaps and that's why they are wearing a mask because they're not happy. Perhaps that uh, this could also be that somebody is not telling you the truth or showing their true self. There might be a Pisces that fancies you and they haven't told you that yet. And they are wearing a mask. Okay, that's the positive side of it. The negative side of it is that a Pisces uh, might um, be jealous of you because we've got the bear here. And he's trying to um, use you. Uh, by going behind your back and nattering, gossiping, but we haven't got the birds here. But we, and so I'm just saying it's a scenario. So it could be a Pisces that goes behind your back and starts gossiping about you, and they are telling you fibs. They're telling you lies because of this long nose. It reminds me of Pinocchio. Uh, they are scared of you in some way because you are successful or loving or whatever and um, they are not telling you the truth they might be doing something positively positive uh, for you or um, behind your back because we've got behind your back but you can take the positive side and the negative side and because it's your birthday month they might be doing something behind your back back like throwing a party or uh, getting um, a member of your family um, to organize something or other um, and it could be a birthday surprise party and um, because they love you there could be um, a, your boss could have an eye on you if you are in employment and he's not telling you that he's seen your hard work and um, that he's going to give you a promotion but you need more information because you've got the dark side of the moon as well okay so you've got 32 there so that means that you're not quite in balance so be you're in in the back you're in the balance on monday and you're being creative you're creating something you're learning something news you might get clarity of some kind news that will bring clarity something that you didn't know about perhaps you are waiting for news because on saturday and sunday you have the eight of wands so you've got two eights lying next to each other and eight is the powerhouse <coughs> excuse me the powerhouse now uh, the powerhouse 
and money house so it might be uh, with regard to money not only a job it could be an inheritance it could be uh, a lottery ticket a scratch card perhaps you might get the news you have won two hundred and thousand million billion dollars or euros and you're happy celebrating as there are celebrations this week besides your birthday and you've got the eight of ones flying past there so it's all things happening at once so it will be a busy week for you gems you might even travel because it, uh, the eight of ones also means holiday or business travel <coughs> your boat is coming in wow look at the ship it might have been unstable just like jelly wobbly so now you might get news that your income will be stable if you get this promotion for instance or a new job if you haven't had a job or work for a while because of the situation we've been in now things are going to happen rapidly you're going to get the promotion a new job you'll have to go boom 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 work really fast and most probably long hours because you'll have to put feelers out you might have to do networking you are creative again a three so you've got two threes here you might travel because you might go over water you might even move home I think your boat is coming in boat of abundance boat of money whatever love I think you're going to be emotionally happy about something we have got the Virgo here and we have got a cancer here like I said somebody might be hiding something perhaps a surprise birthday party or their emotional feelings your emotions or your spirituality or intuitiveness might be heightened or your emotions might be heightened because you're happy or sad <coughs> the overall energy Jimmy Jim Jims um, in one way it is a bad card like we were talking about a jealous person or a person not being true showing their true face because they're wearing a mask well you've got the ten of swords the ten of arrows okay and you've let uh, you've left them behind there that friendship is finished you might or feel you might feel stamped by a Virgo or a Pisces okay you're finished with it you've done it you're you're throwing away the old and you're going into a new phase as this is number one you're ready for the new to come in it might be a lady it might be a new best friend a true friend whether you're a man or a woman <coughs> you might meet a lady and uh, you've got number 11 the angels have your back you might meet somebody that is nurturing and loving and caring like a lady is or passionate you could be nurturing yourself okay you could be uh, tickling yourself by going sh on a shopping spree because now the shops are open again and if not on internet online because look at this we've got a line she's holding a line okay you are putting things out there definitely you're making a network for yourself definitely there you've got the stalk wow from the new Lenamon deck and I'll be using them in my life like all the other cards you might be pregnant you might be finding out you're pregnant if you are a lady or your partner might be pregnant well if you don't want to get pregnant or if you don't want to become a father then take precautions there will be a 360 degrees turnaround in a situation or an issue at hand again you've got a number 8 what 17 1 and 7 is 8 money and power you are in your power your strength 
You might be moving home, like I said. I hadn't even seen this card. You might be immigrating, or you might be going on holiday. But the stalk st stands for moving home, new beginnings, a birth, either of a child or a new job. And you've got the Queen of Hearts. Now here we've got the moon, that's Pisces. The Queen of Hearts, that is Scorpio. So it might even be a Scorpio. But don't exclude <coughs> Cancer as well. Now, you've got the diamond. And I'm getting to hear, diamonds are forever, forever. That James Bond song from Shirley Bassey. Okay. Now, the diamond is an everlasting stone, and it's one of the purest stones that you can get besides crystal. It's a, a voluptuous crystal, I suppose, and it's 20, so you, and that becomes a 2. So you will be coming into balance. <coughs> you can, excuse me, you can download this card, a print of it, on Pinterest. Just f go to... Uh, Crystal Spirit Oracle Cards by Collet Baron Reed and you can actually download this picture. You can use it when you're meditating or contemplating or put it on your visionary board. The essential meaning of the diamond is the priceless gift of time and pressure combined. Beauty and strength and we've been talking about strength here arising from trials and challenges the right use of the power we've been talking about power of gemini because you've got two eights here so you've got 88 the angel angels have your back okay now there was an other eight hang on a minute i think a five and a three hold on and up no 17 17 didn't we have a number 17 no, we didn't. I thought we had an other eight. How funny. No, we've got two eights. And no, here you are, 17, eight. So you've got 888. Eight, eight. Okay, so have a look on the internet. That's an angel number. Okay, I can't know everything, so I'm sorry about that. But that's significant. Three, and you've got... You've got a three, creativity, creativity. You've got an ending and a new beginning. Again, an ending, a new beginning. So you've got two tens as well. You've come to top form. Ooh, 10 and 10 is 20. Look how these numbers work. Let's have a look. I thought you had another three, never mind. Doesn't matter. <coughs> Okay, so you're, you're, that is quite significant. Stay in your strength, power. Okay, make sure that you are uh, emotionally stable because your emotions might run high, either with crying or with happiness. Okay, laughter. Okay, you've got a lot of angel numbers there. Okay. As co-creators with our fellow beings, we are meant to work together harmoniously, giving and receiving, taking turns and sharing the work, the credit, the fun and the power of manifestation. Today you are called to claim your power and exercise it with respect and love for all, even those who are hard to love, especially those who challenge you. You never know what silent struggles people are hiding. And your ability to express love is magnif magnified by Diamond Spirit today. So listen to the part of you that wants to be kind and understanding toward someone who is making it difficult for you to come from your highest self 
wow that is magic because that is these two cards that somebody might be lying to you because they're strugg strugglingly uh, struggling struggling with their emotions for you or somebody might be struggling because they are jealous of you and there you go and then you have the star card Taurus headed but I promise you to the bottom of my heart I did shake the cards and your wish is coming true in your birthday month or your goal now Gemini I love these cards I made a review on all the decks so go and have a look give us the, the thumb up for all the videos or even if it was just for the um, Shadowlands tarot and of course the crystals or the Lenormand you don't have to do all of them but let me know which you like the best this is your and I think these cards just um, highlight that we can't do without dark or light neither look at the dark side and this side is the lighter side and I think they're beautiful because they look like Aboriginal work paintings artistry and also they are brilliant for tattoos now if you go to the review of this deck then I've put down underneath in the video uh, below the video I've put down each zodiac sign and which card represents that zodiac sign like Gemini is the lovers cancer is the chariot and I think it's a new idea for tattoos if you're a tattoo freak it would be a beautiful tattoo go and have a look so you've got the star you are your goal or your wish is coming true now your last card Gemini is a postcard from spirit and it says uh, I don't know floats open f hope floats hope floats dear gems on oh oh my things are stirred up and change is upon you this is uh, this is cause for celebration boom celebration lovely so your also your birthday month no need to be nervous but now that it's okay to be afraid when faced with the uncertainties of life the funny thing is that courage doesn't get mustered in the absence of fear rather in spite of it or even because of it step into the unknown now let go of the branch you are clinging to and let spirit take the wheel and help steer you to your highest good taking the wheel of the boat and most wonderful adventure all you need to concern yourself with is choosing courage as your ally leave the rest up to us there's a load of miracles being shipped your way remember what philosopher Joseph Campbell said take one step toward the gods and they will take ten towards you we are all doing the destiny cha 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 on your behalf that's right don't be afraid to dance loving you always and this is from your ancestors and the angels I love this card and good things abundance ship steering your way Ooh, nice one it's going to be a good month let's hope so jemmy gem gems just finish with the rubbish leave it behind just pull back sit in your little sacred place and if you need advice 
ask a wise old man <laughs> or a father figure I love this reading I'll have to watch it back because I can never it never sinks in once I'm doing a reading and I don't do a reading for me I do it for each sign as a reader and I'll just have to go and watch back as a querent but that postcard um, sounds good okay so I hope you have enjoyed this reading take care be blessed and I'll see you in the lives please share and like and don't forget go to the website because I will be putting the information out there and on there um, about the competition if you wish to receive one of the decks if you are the winner all right take care and be blessed